Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another Rogue Apps, where today we're taking a look at Shipwreck Lonely Island. Now this is actually a remake of a PC game, it was an old German PC game called Shiftbro. And basically, the object of this game is it's kind of like a real old-fashioned Don't Starve, but without Maxwell and all them. Uh, you, pretty much you just show up after your boat crashes, as you can imagine, and uh, you're stuck trying to find a way to get off this island. So pretty much you just have to look around and do your thing and try to build houses and randomly solve puzzles and, you know, like you can build pretty much anything like tents and uh, tree houses and you can cultivate fields, etc, etc, etc. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get shipwrecked. It's a very stormy night. Oh god, what is that? No! My ship. My beautiful ship. I'm in a mess now. Stranded on a lonely island out in the middle of the Pacific. I better look for some fresh water and some food as soon as possible. Maybe I could build a few tools as well. So, here we are on the beach. Uh, you can walk just by tapping the tile in front of you, walking ahead, doing your thing. Oh, look, we found some berries already. Let's go ahead and move up there. Now, every time you move, time does pass, okay? And automatically, I think it's like, uh, oh, when is it? At 1800 hours, you automatically fall asleep, and if you fall asleep, you lose food and you lose health if you haven't built in a shelter yet, okay? So you really gotta plan out your steps as best you can. Now, if I remember right, you can actually search the terrain that uh, you're in. Let me see here. Let's move over one. And now, how do we build? Because they have switched up the bar from the PC version. Because I've never used this bar yet. Uh, there used to be a bar over on the right-hand side, and you could pick from a variety of things, but they decided to make it a little bit simpler, I would assume. So, okay. Alright, so this is like the crafting area, where the build thing is. Uh, the sack is your current contents, and this is what we were looking for. So, you would go to the gears button, and you would hit search. And we start picking some berries! Look at all those. After looking through the area very closely, I managed to find absolutely nothing. Okay, so that didn't work. Why the hell didn't that work? Like, that, that really should have worked. I don't understand what... What exactly happened there? Maybe I just needed to hit the food button. Yeah, okay. So we ate some berries. And <laughs> At least we accomplished something, right? Man. So you got shipwrecked, huh? What was the first thing you did? Did you did you whip out your cell phone and attempt to call? No! No, I, I went up and I ran and some, picked some freaking berries. Ah. Uh, ridiculous. So, okay, um, we'll search this tile and just see if we find anything. Hmm, that's a big leaf! I could use that, I bet. I just need to take it along with me to be safe, tuck it in my pocket. Who knows whether I'll come across something as unusual as this again. Really? A big leaf is unusual? Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow, that is a big leaf. Damn. Okay, well, good call, my friend. You, uh, should be holding on to that. So, basically, as you can see, we are just moving along, discovering big leaves after big leaves. And, uh, yeah, I think, um, you know what? The first shelter... I think you need five leaves and five branches to actually build a tent. So, just, you know, FYI. And see, right now, I don't feel too competent in my overall strategy because I already forgot to search the beach when we got it in the game. That's the very first thing that you should do. And, see, in the tropical heat, I looked more closely at the surrounding area these past few minutes. These beautiful stones caught my attention. I could use them. 
So there we go. We have three stones now. Um, I think you only need one stone and a branch to make an axe. So we'll keep moving on down the beach because we have to find water at some point too. As you can imagine, that is a very important thing to have. Found some more stones. Was it? Oh, wow. Okay, so we're finding stones in groups of three, which is kind of cool because I think I, if I remember right in the PC game, you only found them in groups of two. I think. I could be wrong. Now, I gotta check this out, okay? Because I don't know... Like, obviously you can't drink seawater because you'll get dehydrated and die because of all the salt. But, this looks like a little lagoon that's pooled up on the beach. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe there might be some water here. With a lot of effort, I managed to tear off a... Lane? Is that right? Are those those, uh, like those string bits that come from trees? You know what I'm talking about? Kind of like a, like a vine, but it's not a vine. Like in Minecraft, you see them like falling down in the swamps. No, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Huh? Okay, so that is water. Good. So at least we found a source of water, but, uh, it does look like it hit our food really hard, so maybe that is salt water. I don't know. I don't think that, that was a good call, though. Um, eating that. Probably very dumb, actually. Can I eat this bush? There we go. So it looks like we're going to go to sleep here in a second. Let's see if we can find anything here. After looking very closely through the area, I managed to find absolutely nothing. Wonderful, bro. Very good. Now see, I'm not sure, I can't remember if uh, in just the grassy areas. Okay, so the next move should put us to bed. So let's go ahead and move towards a tree so we can at least get something to eat or whatever. Oh look, you see up here? Okay, you see up here in the corner? See all that water? That's what that is, that's water. That's that's a very hydrated plane. Oh God, oh God, it's so loud. I nearly went deaf. Okay, <sighs> unfortunately, I have not been able to successfully build a building or a comfortable place to sleep yet. Therefore, I have to sleep under the open sky tonight. These wild animals won't leave me alone, and my health is dropping. Ah. That's not cool. Well, let's search the tree. See if we can find a branch. Nope. What's this, a pineapple? Just a big leaf. Okay. So we're gonna make a run to the river. Hopefully we can make it there before we... Alright. There we go. I thought for sure I was gonna die. And it's just like, wow. You know? That's pretty miraculous. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and search the area. Why not? Maybe there might be like gold in the river or something. If you're looking at the tropical heat, stones. Okay. That's not that great. Let's go ahead and eat the tree. No? Really? Can't eat the tree? Damn. I'm gonna eat a bush. Now ideally, I would like to make some shelter today. So let's see if we can do that. Lots of big leaves. It's amazing. So we got one vine, lots of rocks, a couple of stones. Uh, let's, let's actually move back this way just because I want to get some food because I know we are drastically falling in that area. I did not mean to search. Okay, here we go.
Oh, see? Okay, I, I didn't mean to go that far. Dang it. Because that bush is stuck on a tile that's, like, going up. So it's very hard to select just that specific tile right there. You know what I'm saying? There, I did it then. But you gotta be careful because you're wasting time when you do that crap, you know? So. We still need a branch. Damn. Uh, where can we find a branch? How about we go off in this direction here? Searching the tree for a branch. Nothing. Might as well get some food while we're here. Come on. Big old bozo. What are you talking about? There's a stupid bush right there, man. Jeez. Like I said before, sometimes they're just like on the corner of tiles. So you gotta be careful how you go about selecting it. Alright, let's head back to the water in our search for a branch so we can get some wood. Jeez. Did I say that this is a strategy game? There we go. Finally. Okay. So, now that we have a branch, we should be able to make an axe. Uh... Or not. Really? Is there no... Well, that's interesting. I guess we have to build a tent first, or something. Strange. He's like, okay, what, what I don't like about this so far, and let's just pause and see. Yeah. See, in the PC game, okay, there used to be the ability, let's uh, close. There used to be the ability that you could actually highlight what you wanted to build, and it would just tell you what it is that uh, you needed. And we don't have that ability right now, so... That's kind of weak. And if you're wondering, up here in the corner, the left-hand corner, right below where it says 1714, what that percentage means, that percentage is actually the percent that you will be rescued. Okay? So, obviously, right now it's at zero, because the only clue to our, our salvation that's here is like a little piece of wood that's sticking up out of the beach. And that could be anything. That's not necessarily a shipwreck. That could be like a, uh, a tree that was just, you know, engulfed by a tsunami or something. No pilot would know. They would just ignore it. Unless they see this little red dude on the beach, and then maybe they'd stop. But, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get some water. And we will continue our search. The search was worth it. A branch? Oh my god. That was amazing. Okay, let's try to sleep and see if uh, we get attacked at all. I hate that. That is just... That wolf howling, right? That is the essence of what made 90s PC so frightening. You know, just like the sound effects there and like how you're not able to really control the volume. It's just... Uh, and I, 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 I don't know what to say. You know, it's just, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. We'll move on from there. Because <laughs> we're not really accomplishing a lot, are we? 
Jeez. I'll search this little tree area. Couple of stones. Okay. Well, you know what? It's better than nothing. It's absolutely better than nothing. So, we have our ten stones. We will make an SOS. Look at him work! Oh my god! Like a boss, right? Yeah, you arrange those stones. Passing planes now should be able to notice my SOS. So, our percentage has went up to 14%. It's not the most hopeful thing in the world, but it's better than zero, right? So, now that we've done that, and you know what? If, if you're wondering about making it multiple SOSs, right? Um, I, I don't know if that will increase the, uh, the percentage. Like, if you make two SOSs, will it go up to 30%? If you make them right next to each other, my guess would be probably no. But if you made it on the opposite side of the island, maybe. You know, I mean, obviously in real life, yeah, you, your percentage would probably go up. So, we'll see if that's the case here. In the meantime... We need to eat.